Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld and, and our crazy herd of deer that all want to eat rabbit. <laughs> yeah, does revenge. We've got does and bucks coming at us. There's eight of them. And thankfully our gauntlet system is still uh, in place. Oops, there's one right there I want to eliminate. I went through and did quite a bit of micromanaging and little things before I started this episode. Of course, after I ate my... I have pork chops and fully loaded baked potato and spinach and, and green beans and mm, had a good dinner. Anyway, um, I decided to not tear down this outer wall until we have done something with the outer wall over here. Decided to play it a little bit smarter than just tear it all down and rebuild it. So eliminated that and and uh, I, think I, I don't think I've altered this at all. I did alter this. The greenhouse right here. I moved it over so it's entirely in the, the most fertile soil. But then I also kicked around the idea that we started talking about last time of maybe putting another internal hallway right through here. So shove this bedroom up a little bit. Add one more bedroom because there's a good chance we're going to get several more people, you know, this group and... Oh, that's right. And... Uh, um, more to come before we get into bedrooms over here. Michael brought up it might be a good idea to, you know, give these guys some beds to sleep in. <laughs> it is frustrating that that um, they, you have to designate whether or not it is medical or not. You know, they, they can't possibly sleep in a bed that's meant for medical. I understand why. It means it's available for the next injured person instead. But... Um, do they heal better in a bed marked as medical? A lot of people just ignore the whole thing, just use regular prisoner beds and they just land wherever they land. But if that's the case, then why do this at all? Does it say there? Room 10 infection chance 51%. So let's look up, well that's wooden bed, that doesn't help. Um, the fact that it's medical, for prisoner use, medical, room 10, infect, chance, factor, 51%. This doesn't show that. So, does the medical status just give you more medical information? Or is there any medical benefit to being tended to in a medical bed? It seems like there would have to be. Now, there is a full-blown medical bed that you can get to with research. Um, I, I'm guessing. It used to be available in... Alpha 13, but um, I'm sure it's out here. Oh, I guess it was a research item in Alpha 13. That's right, it was. Um, medical. It's medicine production. That's what Cathra was talking about. Getting the. So I reset that also between episodes. The drug production table going so we can get medicine production going over here. So it's 500 research and 1,500. So it's 2,000 research away to be able to make our own medicine. But there's a medical bed in here somewhere. I would think it'd be tied into this. Definitely tied into microelectronics. And... Oh, it's here somewhere. You guys have probably already spotted it, but it's, it's all Greek to me. Okay, I'll catch that some other time. But... Anyway, um, there is a, a dedicated medical bed that really increases things. There's also a medical monitor that go, attaches to the bed, just as there will be... I wonder if we have access to any of that right now. Uh, miscellaneous. Now, somewhere in... Or is it production? There will be a closet, right? Some kind of a tool closet or something that will attach to all the production tables. That will give them a a production bonus just as there is a uh, monitor that will attach to the hospital bed to give it a bonus anyway that's that's a lot of research beyond where we are right now anyway so potential backup bedroom another bedroom another guest room is it going to end up being a bunk room by the time we're done with it um hallway through here shove all this up two spaces internal hallway uh multiple ways to access in and out and cut through and to garden through the winter and take it right through inside and drop it right off in the freezer and never have to go outside to do it. So that's the possibility. Though, of course, if I provide the way, they're going to, you know, choose the outside way to, to go in because it's RimWorld. But anyway, that's all done there. Um, glance down. What else did I do? I, I did find some, some uh, steel up here just sitting out there. So I don't recall why that was. This is our 
our landing spot right here. Yeah, we went down from here. We landed there. So that's some of our of the uh, the steel that we landed with. It never got brought in. Okay, so that's what this. So there's 200 steel up there still. And then I said that because what? Sandbags. I had marked on on here for the last couple of episodes on my my list to give us some some sandbag fallback points. But I decided to go in instead with, where's an example, right there. Uh, little stockpiles that will take the limestone chunks. So they're in various places around here to fall back to. Right there, right there. So they'll start filling all this in just like they'll start filling in all of the, the uh, let's get rid of these. Um, I just hit the, I guess I can hit the Y. There we go. There we are. So get rid of all of these stockpiles that won't be used anymore, so they won't bring any more to this point. All right, well, that'll do. Okay, is that caught up enough? Um, let's see, sandbags, greenhouse, uh, research the drug bench. Okay, that's, that's enough. Now we can get on to the mission at hand these guys. Now, they are, I believe, it won't give me a line like it'll give our folks a line, like uh, Sangri over here. It tells me exactly where she's going. Most of these are probably heading for this point right here. And they're going to be through this before Klaus, for example, gets to that door. Tomasov is already out here. I just wonder, if I send him to, say, this door here, go there, his walking outside might trigger them to turn and run back to him and maybe stall them a little bit longer out there. Otherwise, I see Catherine's out here, so we're going to draft her and put her where? So this is the current gauntlet. We're going to go through. Sangria's already going to, I think it was there. Um, so, uh, Cathra, your range, there to there. You could get into this place right over here. So if you popped over here, you would be able to shoot them as they came in and you'd have a place to dive into. Um, Michael brought up the fact that, and I noticed it when I was uh, editing, I forgot to release the animals from their safety spots from the wild boar attack. So they're still they're still safe. <laughs> and they're well fed. We've got, we got food down there. Though we did take all the food out of here. Uh, wandering Utah is hungry. The hungriest, we'll put it that way. So we'll release them after this. Um, I, sh I could make... Hmm, I could add to the animal uh, safety area in here a little bit of the freezer. Give them a chance to go in and nibble on something. as a possibility. But um, anyway, they're all fine right now. And they are put away for this particular attack. I don't think there's anything else to be concerned about unless there's someone else who want to get into position. And that's probably the case. In fact, I should get you guys ready to go. You're still stuck with a sniper. Um, so let's send you to the doorway. Send you to here. So you can get off a shot and then get back in if that's what it comes in. Oh, it turns out to be. Natalia is sleeping. I don't think this is going to be all that difficult. Do I want to wake her up or not? Here's Handy. Handy is grabbing that revolver that I asked her to. Okay, so we'll we'll move Handy into position. It's nice to have Natalia available at night. She's the one that saved our bacon the last raid. She put everybody back together again while we were all sleeping. So that was it's good to, to have that night crew. So waking her up now wipes her out for this night. And we have no idea what the game is going to throw at us in between. So I think... We can test this one. This one's going for Tomislav. Is anybody else going to shift? No, you're all going for Rabbit. I'm debating whether or not he's going to make it in time. He will. Okay. Is anybody else going to trigger? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Rabbit's got an assault rifle. So he he's going to get one round. I've got to get him out of there. It would be nice if Klaus was going to make it in time. Sangria has got a charge rifle. I'm going to send her to here instead. I can't tell. I moved Klaus to somewhere else. Klaus, you go to this door instead. 
And Sangria, you head to this door instead. Kathra is going over here to shoot who makes it through. Tomislav is going to dive in and distract at least the one and then be able to shoot whatever turns the corner. That's the plan. Let's see how this works. Okay, Rabbit, take him down. Actually, oh, you turned. You went after Tomislav. <laughs> nice. That worked out well. So, Tomislav is there. Hmm. Let's send him inside for the moment and distract this one, get it going back, then you can take another round of shots. Rabbit, you're doing that. Catherine Sangria coming up. Okay, that was his cooldown. Yeah, that was pretty close. Now you're going after... You're still going after Thomas Lobby. You're going to go around to get him. You really want him. Okay, they're coming through there now. Thomas Lobby, if you were to stick your head out, what would happen? Good. You can get off one more shot. Rabbit, this may be your last round here. Okay, one is down. This one's going to get you before you get out of there. So you're done now. So you hop out. Yeah, you're your cooldown period. All right, you two are going after them. Rabbit, where can you go from here? You can go over here. Okay, everyone shoot into there. We have one more round here. We've got two charge rifles in there. Klaus is getting into place for the, the backup. Cather is in place if anything gets through. Ta, Handy. Shantigo is waiting for the worst case scenario. Handy, come on out here. And back up Cathra. Let's think about this. There's only one door to dive into here. We could put you up here with Rabbit. You can get outside and pop in another door and just, you know, just keep this this interweaving in and out of doors things. <laughs> yeah. Um what to do with Handy? Where are you over here? You're right there. You're already selected. Okay. Let's get you to here for now. And we'll figure out the rest later. Okay, coming into here, Tomislav and Sangria. Okay, Sangria, you're out. And Tomislav, you're out. Is out outside a problem? So far, it is not. Okay. And Rabbit cannot pop out yet. Klaus almost can. Can I quickly get Klaus to here? to here. How fast can I do that? Okay, pause. Rabbit is going to pop out in a second. You two are safe. Cather is waiting. I'm worried that Klaus is going to get there. Okay, so you were able to get off probably one round there. Alright, you're going back. You're going outside after Tomislav. Okay. You're going to complicate things. Yeah. Okay. Down. Good shot, Klaus. You're going around. Um, maybe I can pop Rabbit out behind you at that point. Now, I could almost... Well, I can't put Tomislav in here, but I can put him into there. What happens if you pop into there and you pop into there? Okay, and Rabbit pops into there. <laughs> We're going to take this one frame at a time. Klaus is the next one in trouble. Okay, he's hurt. So I need you out here. He's just getting headbutted with a... Oh, pause, pause, pause. Yeah, you're out here, you're out here. And... You're out here. Okay. Made it? Made it. Okay. Out here, Klaus just got a deer bite. And a bruise. Okay. So he's fine. He, he's fine. All right, Rabbit got out of there. We have this one left. We have these two that are trying to bust through a door. Okay. Coming back around. <laughs> and we're all kind of going back outside again. At least you are and you are. All right. Rabbit, try to take this one out as it turns the corner. Klaus, pop into here and do the same thing. Okay. All right, you're out. You are out. 
Yeah, got Klaus. And a mad animal. <laughs> oh, this game? Okay. Oh, local hair has gone mad. These, these local hares, let me tell you. They're going to do more damage than these eight deer combined. You just watch. Jump to location. You hunt, and you are not that far away. So everyone who's outside is going to have to find a way to get back inside before that hare gets here. <laughs> Let's see. Klaus's range. He's got decent range. Klaus, you stay out there and get your first shot at the at the hare, and just hope that the deer work out so that they're not standing right here when you need to run back in, because that hare is going to take you down. All right, rabbit. These two are moving. That one's moving. That one's moving. Okay. Um. Right there, rabbit, back in. I can't move Tomislav back in yet. Got him. Good. Klaus, rabbit, is where? Gotta be close. Ah, right there. Right there. So, you are in Klaus's range at the old prison. Okay. Alright, now, you guys have all turned the corner. Tomislav might try to shoot that thing, too. Let's send you down... Hmm. Can't tag team a Sangria, though. If you're down in here. How are we going to do that one? Rabbit's doing fine over here. He's actually stopped everything over here. These guys are heading... One is heading up to or running down. Just in time to meet Klaus. <laughs> um. Hmm. Tomislav, go there. Sangria, go there. Handy... And Kathra over here. Um, you two, you go there. Kathra, you head over here to back up Klaus. Maybe I'll pop you outside too. I heard the rabbit scream. Yeah, those are those rabbits are things of nightmares. All right, what's moving? What's going where? Just these guys, right? Yeah. So. Pop in, pop in. Klaus is in. Rabbit is fine. Handy's going there to be with Rabbit. You go on out. Rabbit, you go out. Okay, so we have to go after a rabbit. My rabbit. Um, Kathra, you head all the way to there. Now let's watch these guys. We're in. They're going to move up. Take them down. You all missed. Get out of there. <laughs> That was six shots, guys. Couldn't land one. Okay, Rabbit's over there. You guys are over here. Rabbit is going to lure all three of these in. So that's what's going to happen there next. Kathra. Okay, Klaus is ready to take a shot. But I also need to see if these guys get out of there in time. So we can go to about that point and see them all. There's nothing going on over there with Rabbit's area. All right, what's going to happen here? Missed. Three shots and he missed. You guys... Are getting out of there? Tomislav didn't get hit. Another round, and then you're out of here. Okay. Um, do I pull you down or not? I'm going to pull you down because you're already injured. Kathra, you're going to stay there. And you're going to shift and go after Tomislav. And I'm going to put Kathra in behind with her fast shooting auto pistol. Let's we'll see what she can do. All right. Rabbit was going after Klaus. We'll see how that changes. All right, you guys are here, and you've stopped moving. Okay, Tomislav's going after the rabbit. Kathra, hop out and play with the rabbit, too. These guys are not moving. Okay, Tomislav. Ooh. That's going to get exciting. Tomislav runs at what speed? 4.58. Rabbits run at what speed? 5.5. Hmm. If I were to send you through the door, which is what I was thinking, this doe is going to, you know, play tag with you. Um, Tomislav, go 
here. I'll go here, and then there, and then there. We'll kind of run through something like that. You guys hop out and get ready to take on a rabbit as it comes through. Though maybe I won't have to. You diverted. But still, Tomasov, make your run. Hmm. Okay, we're already shooting. Tomasov, you're making your run down to here this time. Okay. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Catherine, don't shoot Tomasov. Go, go, go. Okay, Catherine, you're going to have to stand down. You, uh... You are going to shoot Tomislav while he's trying to get through that door. Okay, we've got deer over here still. Can't use Sangria. Handy is kind of waiting out there for the rabbit. Hopefully you two can get a couple of shots off and be done with it. Um, Cathra is standing down. Klaus is... He's got a fast shot and he's got good skill. Just doesn't always randomly work that way. Let's send him out as Cathra moves in. That should time out just about right. And the rabbit took a little break there. Thank you. Ouch. Okay. Klaus is out getting a shot. You are now going after... Still going after Tomislav. Tomislav, what happened? You got bit on the right leg. On the left leg. Okay. With that. You're going to get your shot off. Cathra, head back outside. Uh, right there. And Sangra, you're stuck. So you come on down to here and see what you can do with these deer. Uh... Rabbit is there. As soon as he turns the corner, now the deer are running down. Wouldn't you know? They they can see through the wall. That's what it is. All right. With that, then Tomislav, go back out to here. Take him! Take him! Oh, guys, I'm <laughs> I'm getting a little a uh, little shocked here. Okay, you were going after Tomislav still. No, you went after Sangria. Really? Okay. Well, all the enemies are in the gauntlet now. Tomislav, you are staying there. You can go to here now. All right. Rabbit in. <coughs> Handy to there. Get a shot off around the corner. And you, Handy took out that rabbit. Okay, that's done. You guys stay there. I see why I didn't want to add this to last episode. That would have been an hour and... Oh, I didn't set my timer. I have no idea when I started this. Uh, it's going to be one of those uh, unknown mystery length episodes. Hmm. Okay, you guys have all stopped. You're going to step in, you're going to step in, and we're going to finish this thing. Klaus, you're going to go there. Catherine, you're going to go there. Uh, there. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Got one out of that. One more. Got one. Take him out, take him out. Hop out of there. Hop out of there. No, don't handy. Thanks for helping, but that's not helping. Okay. <laughs> um, didn't we just get all these guys healed once? And you're sitting there. Okay, well, actually, you stay there. I can see what's happening here. Um, Cathro, you're going there. Klaus, you're going there. And then you're going there. And we're just going to have to tag team back and forth till this is done. All right, Cathra in. Boom. Klaus in. Got him. All right. Oh, man, that was tough. So many injuries. All right, you guys all stand down. The deer, double click. We only have three that are still alive. We're going to mark you to hunt. Somebody, probably rabbit, work, hunt, Rabbit is a plant cutter and grower first, and then he's a hunter. And there's no plant cutting and growing to do. So, he's a hunter. So, he'll take care of these guys. The haulers, whoever that is, will haul them in as we get more room in here. Yeah. And we're going to let the animals out before that happens again. Unrestrict. Uh, let's do something like that. I think that'll work. Okay, injuries, sangria, health, bruise, and a crushed right lung from a deer's front left leg. Ouch. Tomislav, got a bite to the left leg. 
and move over a little bit Klaus got a bite to the right leg and a bruise to the left leg okay otherwise I think we're all right I'll wake up uh, Natalia to do all of that well Tomislav's gonna hit a hospital bed himself so that was Sangria and that was Klaus Maybe we'll just make that a permanent hospital bed, huh, Klaus? <laughs> and Tomislav. Okay. So with that, I can release this, right? I think so. Okay. Oh, the carnage. Rabbit is digging at granite. Reset you. Hunting a buck. There you go. Now you got the order. And you're right here. May as well do one of them. There's another rabbit. Oh, okay. I have no idea where we were. Um, the only thing I have left circled on my list is unrestrict the animals after the deer. Okay, well, the, the dogs are happy to get outside. You can see that. They want out of there. Yeah, starting to rain, of course. Starting to snow. Cold snap, hard snow. This stuff wasn't going to be damaged in the... Uh, but by the you know because they're frozen but the snow's going to damage them boy okay well let's let somebody hit the bed right there natalia i'm going to have you tend sangria who has a crushed lung so we got that's in fact does it show that as being any kind of critical we're not on sangria there we go no immediate danger so it doesn't it, the immediate danger seems to only monitor the quantity of blood that is being lost. It doesn't take anything else into account. Okay. So Natalia's going to take care of that. Um, Chantigo. Forgot you were down here. Well, you only have the sniper anyway. Let's... Hmm. How do we want to deal with that? Let's give you the revolver. Hmm. I'm wondering what Klaus can do with one of these mini guns. What do you call now? You're a machine pistol. Klaus, how about you equip that? Shantigo, you undraft and can equip the revolver. And Handy, I want you... I want to find you. I didn't leave you... You're already down there sewing. Wow, you're quick. As soon as Klaus drops off this... Let's give the assault rifle to Handy. So Handy, equip. Okay. That takes care of weapons for a while. Now, we need to finish the power off and the batteries off. Batteries are going to take 50 each. There's 100 steel there. And we need another 50 for the wind turbines. So 150 to finish this system, plus miscellaneous stuff for conduit. We have 200 available, and that gets that done. Um, but that's Handy, and she's finishing that. I could put that one off. I probably could. Let's sh uh, handy. Let's shift you back into construction for. Well, no. Let's do this instead. Uh, bills. Let's just take that down by one. All right. We have one in stock, and that's fine. When one of these guys gets, what are you two standing at the door doing? You're you're thinking about something, aren't you? Uh huh. And Justin is a female. I forgot about that. So we have two females again and, and, and Matt. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, we got to get these in. That's really what's going on right now. There's no food up here. Though I wonder how long this wood's going to last. Yeah, it's not in that bad a shape for as long as it's been out there. The food deteriorates quickly compared to that. So we just need to get this in. Rabbit is bringing in his deer. Cathra is bringing in... She's refueling a campfire. We still have the cold snap going, so I better leave her alone to do that. Shantigo is equipping a revolver. I asked him to do that. And most everybody else is, is damaged and in bed. Darn. Nobody else. Cathra, where'd you end up? Uh, I'm sorry, you are the one that's refueling the campfire. And that's for these guys. I want to bring these in. Okay. Well, Yuta's just going to eat one. 
So there's one less to bring in. So rice. Actually, all the rice can be done by a single person. Get her to click. Shantigo, come get a load of rice. Alright, so that's coming in. And then we need rabbit. In fact, drop off the deer right there. Yeah. Drop off the deer. Just leave it outside. It'll freeze. And come get strawberries. That'll leave a space in the freezer for them, too. Let's see how much is left over. There are a lot more strawberries than rice. Okay, so Shantigo's going to get, I think, all that. And there's real close to 70-ish in there. Whoa, did I, what did I miss? You're going to fill a space in the stock, in the pile that to bring it up to 75. And that one up to 75. Because we really are running out of space. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, then temporarily, don't like to do this because it's not fully refrigerated, though it is getting some residual chilling from that. We're going to do that. And Shantigo, you're going to try this again. All rice, let's see if we can get all of it this time. And tell me you're not going to do just the 14 again. Good, we're going to fill up a new space. See how far you can go. That and this and 10 more. 65, 66. Great. Got it all. And Rabbit, you snuck away from me. You are tending to Tomislav. Oh, Natalia is working with Klaus. I'll let Natalia do that. Rabbit, why don't you bring in some more berries? And then... Shantigo, when you're done, you bring in some more berries. And that will finish that job. Okay. So, Natalia's got Tomislav. And we are getting dangerously low on medicine. I would like to be able to start making other medicines and leave this Glitter World stuff for operations. We're getting down toward the end of our, of our supply there. What happened there? Klaus took that hospital bed and Tomislav took his own bed and didn't go for this one. Interesting. So, by that being a regular hospital bed, infection factor is 51%. Because it doesn't have the silver floor, probably. Otherwise, dirt-wise, what's the room look like? There's a little bit, not much. These are pretty clean rooms. A little bit right at this doorway. Three stacked on top of each other there with the blood. So it was negative 45 in that one. So as far as dirt goes. Okay. Uh, turn that thing off. All right. So that brings in all of the food. This has been restocked. We're at 55. Shantigo is in the middle of this. And there is room yet to bring meals into here. So now it's just a matter of doing a whole bunch of butchering and getting this done. Tomislav's fully healed. Great. He's going to take advantage of this, though, and get some sleep. Klaus, health. All patched up. 25 of 30 and 28 of 30. Sangria, all patched up. And the lung is 17 of 20. And the torso is 39 of 40. So you're almost fully healed, too. Yep, snow is starting to come down. You can just see it happening. Eventually, we're going to see the all the ground here start to get white. Uh, we still have 75 out there. Kathra, wearing cloth toque. You're a little cold, huh? What are you wearing right now? Gear, a 99% awful. You're going after this one, which is 100% poor. So I guess it's an improvement. That seems kind of odd to take off to go swap out for that. Meanwhile, why don't you grab these first? Because nobody else got that order, right? Looks like it was abandoned. Yeah. Shantigo, where'd you go? I expect you to find you here. There you are. Meditating. So you're... Oh, we hit 1,400. That canceled all the orders. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, so that's all but one. And we're just going to call that one done. Okay. So, deer. All of the hunting's done. Everybody that... Nope, there's still one out there to be hunted. 
And Rabbit is right there. They're all going after Tukes. Okay. There. So he swapped that one, then he swapped that one. <laughs> Interesting. And Shantigo is cooking a fine meal. Klaus is wearing a cloth toque. He doesn't want this cowboy hat anymore. Tomislav, give me those, give me a toque. <laughs> like they're all a little bit cold right now. And we are cold in here, aren't we? No, 87 degrees. I thought I saw a breath come out of his mouth like he was in a cold environment. I guess it was just uh, smoke coming off the stove. Uh, needs feeling good. You're too hot now. Yet you've got the hat on. I would have thought they would have taken this off if they were uncomfortable. That was Rabbit, right? Yeah, and you didn't do... Okay, why don't you, you know, consume... Oh, there's nowhere to put them. The freezer's full. Okay, well, that's the end of the food coming in. That's the end of the space in the freezer. So, are these guys going to deteriorate out here? These guys are all under roof. So, they're okay. Um, this one got moved into here. So, nothing is deteriorating except for out here. These are a problem. You, 98 of 100, 98 of 100, and 95 of 100. Let's try to remember to send them out to get these manually rather than waiting for them to eventually be done because they're going to do it by closest one first. These guys are basically preserved. They're frozen. This is essentially a freezer right now and we're not exposed to the elements. But there's nowhere to put them. Um, hate to keep expanding things but this would solve our problem just to kind of punch through like that. We could... Who was it that kept wanting to go digging? Shantigo is butchering. Klaus is resting. He's still injured. He took off to get something warm to wear. It is 66 degrees in here. So I don't know if cold triggered him or just simply the fact that it's snowing triggered him. Not sure on that one. Otherwise, temperature in here is still 85. Let's Temperature in here is 76. Let's hold open this door. And I need to send somebody through that door. Rabbit is consuming a fine meal. Um, who else is in the area that can do that for me? Hate to bother Shantico. Tell you what, I'm going to do it anyway. Draft, you go to here. It's going to open that door and, and kind of moderate these two temperatures. Okay, so this 85 and this 77 are going to average out. Now, undraft you. Let's have you instead haul that stack of 75. And we have a stack of 40 over here. Since we don't have full-time haulers right now, we don't have the luxury of that. Well, uh, once in a while, Klaus is fully healed. Micromanage Shantigo to fill up his stockpiles, and that'll really speed things up. Okay, all that's done. Handy, you want to get back to making a toque. Can you quickly haul this group of meals? Preferably not to the prison. Thank you. Good. So that's done. Everybody else can get back to their jobs over there. Okay, now we can get back to, like, you know, building a base, right? Is that, is that, is that even possible? That would be nice. Klaus is talking up these guys. And... I'm not sure who is next in line, so if we do get somebody, we'll name them next time. And a lot of the people that requested to be on the list all happened in Episode 1, or the few stragglers in 2 and 3. We're out of 20 now. So as we get to beyond the, the, the few that were on the list originally that I'm certain are, are, are still watching, and get into names that I haven't seen for a while, I think what I'll do is I'll kind of put out a roll call as we get uh, more males. In fact, if these don't convert, I'm going to see if it's possible to get into the save file and change some of these so that we can get uh, some guys in here too. We've only had female recruits so far. But um, uh, do a roll call and see who's actually still watching. We're down to about 70 views an episode now. 
So out of the original 200 and some that we're watching, we're down to uh, twice the size of the list. So it's a good chance that uh, uh, quite a few of the folks that have been asked to put on the list aren't watching anymore. So if you do catch this episode and you know you're on the list, you know, pop a comment down there and say hi. And just let me know that you're still there. Especially if you requested a name that is different from your YouTube name. Because I'll have to try to remember who wanted that name. That's you know, I don't have the YouTube name connected to it. I just have the, the final name that it's going to be. Anyway, so that I'm not giving out names to people who aren't even watching anymore. In place of those who have been faithfully watching and really wish that they could get in on this. We just took our roof down. <laughs> oh well. You will just have to be fine for a while. Look at the snow starting to pile up. Everything's trying to, starting to turn gray and eventually it'll turn white. Now we could set up pathways if I recall. Um, let me think about that. Was that under zones? Yeah, expand snow clear area. So in the snow, they will walk really slow. So eventually this is going to be covered up, but we could create a pathway to kind of give them a place to to shovel it out. Let's see, they tend to want to walk here. Now if I do that, I'm going to wipe out this stockpile, aren't I? Now if I were to do this, I don't know if they will change their path, will they? They might change their pathing to, to accommodate that. It'd be nice if they did. So there... There's no snow over here. Okay, well that's good enough for th that point. Okay. Um, animal zones. Let's think about that. Especially the two that are outside. Um, I think I already have that correct, but the alpaca grazing zone does go inside there. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. So they can get inside when they need to. We don't have this heated yet, though. We don't. <clears throat> Tell you what, Natalia, you're going to have to deal with sewing for a while. Tomislav is sewing. I got that right? He's building a wooden chair. Okay. Didn't think he was set for, for tailoring. Um, Natalia is cutting stone blocks from chunks. So she moved back into... Where are you? You are going after granite right there. You've wiped out all the granite. You're going a long way because one of these benches right there woodcutters table granite block details yeah let's take this radius down we're gonna have to call this one done so if it's not right in this area well we'll go to the perimeter right there okay that one's done so that's 50 let's do the other one as well um right there bills granite details 50 we'll change that later if we absolutely need to. Now, are you going to change your, your pathing? No, you're going to go for the one. Okay, you can go for the one. <clears throat> since you're already here. Otherwise, I need you to be dealing with that toque that Handy was dealing with. Because I need her on construction. I did set her on construction. Where are you at? You're sleeping. Okay. So, work. Handy. No, nope, I didn't. I left you a tailoring because I figured there was no tailoring left to do. Everybody just grabbed toques. And Klaus swapping out his cowboy hat for a tube is probably what changed the balance. So that means we... No, nope, someone cranked that out. We are now satisfied. So, Handy, once we get to daytime again... i got to make a guess when this episode is supposed to end. Um, boy, what time did I even start this? I don't know. I'm going to go another 15 minutes. Um, when we get to daytime again, I want to tell Handy specifically to strawberry plant has died because of cold out over here okay specifically to what is this klaus has no bed and he's sleeping outside all the things that happen when i'm busy concentrating on other things really got to pay attention to rim world um there and klaus i was only joking when i said we'll make you a permanent hospital bed get inside needs it's cold. No, there's no cold here. Because he's got his his uh, uh, duster on and his, his toque on. And he's pretending he's living in Canada. So he's doing fine. But he needs some sleep. We need warm clothes and need a colonist bed. Still? 
Uh, Sangria needs one. Where are you at? Right there. Sangria right there. And you're sleeping out in the snow too. Needs of the environment. And your sleep was disturbed twice by some critter that walked by. Where are you, by the way? You're out on that area. Where's that cougar at? <laughs> Don't know, but we are going to potentially see some animals lost to the cold. And we're going to see a lot of our, our bushes dry up and go away. And the trees are even losing their their leaves and they're going to start drying up and going away. So all of our grasses are gone and a lot of the things that the animals eat are gone. So Sangria, I need to wake you up. You can go to bed. And that's all good there. Okay. I don't know what I was saying when I discovered Klaus. That keeps disturbing me too. Um, I want to get this built and get this running for nighttime and get the heater in here. So we definitely need some more uh, steel coming in. We really do. All right, well, Natalia found her thing, and she is... How are you doing What temperature-wise? In darkness, little pain, ugly environment, tired, and awful barracks. You need to go get a rest. Okay. Corn plant has died. You missed all of this last episode when I was setting up the greenhouse and got a lot of the stuff done through that one night. As all of these plants died, I kept going this diddle, diddle, diddle popping up on me. Every time it switches to a different kind of crop than the last one, it gives me another warning. And I think we can safely say that all of our plants are now gone. Yep. New recruit. Let's go this way. Who'd we get? Klaus got Matt. Okay. Matt. Right there. Which means we need another two can need another duster. So, right off the bat, Handy, you are just flat out going to construction. Not going to do that. We're not going to replenish our supply. Okay, Matt. Character. Was the one that had a passion for everything. Okay. Yeah, we'll come up with a name for Matt next time. Because my notes aren't open to that point right now. wasn't thinking that was even something that could happen right now. Matt is hauling away his 45% poor camel hair parka. Um, a sign, clear forced for handy. Matt is right there. He is now a range, because I saw six on shooting. And Matt, there you are. Six on shooting with passion, okay. Otherwise, let's figure out what Matt can be doing. I'm going to let you, let you take off. Um, your sleep is... You're going to need to eat, and you're going to need a place to sleep. Hmm. Well, you're with Tomislav until we get this bed built. So, no longer medical. You are temporarily right here until this one gets built. I also set up this one to mine out. We'll get a quick bedroom over here if we need to. Just kind of temporary measures until we can get into here and do it right. It's really hard to ever get a mountain base dug out. There's always something causing you to delay it one more day, one more season, one more year, until you finally just end up building this thing out here solid and it just becomes your permanent base. And then here in Beta 18, you get an orbital bombardment that just blows a hole through this much of it, kills everybody inside, and, and game's over. So that's why I want to get into the mountain. Anyway, Matt, you are decked out for... Now well, you're still cold, but that might be temporary because you just got... Okay, you're good from 6 to 108, and we are negative 5. So you are cold. So it means Klaus is cold too, right? He's cold too. What are you doing, Klaus? You're making kibble. You want that last strawberry so bad, you're going to go out there and add that to the loot and make kibble. Well, it didn't go to waste, so okay. But you're going to come in here sh sh shivering. Temperature inside. So we're negative 5 outside. Inside we're at 95 degrees. What on earth? How's that possible? 
We aren't venting through here. We're 71 there. How are we 95 degrees in here? That means that refrigerator is going to work. Oh, the refrigerator must have turned on. It's dumping its heat out of here, too. No, this was opened up for the summer because this cooler needs to dump its heat. It's great that these guys can... I guess I can just turn them off. That they can dump heat in here in the winter when we need it, but there's no reason for this to run. This is set for 70 degrees, and it is... Oh. <laughs> the campfire is making it 71 degrees. Okay, just turn you off. And the refrigerator shouldn't run but it is possible that's what I want over there yeah it's possible it'll run okay well let's turn that one off and let's turn this one off don't need those guys running cooling down our campfires I didn't think about that I just figured winter time there's no reason to even consider that they would actually turn on so these guys are dying of heat in here except for the ones that have the dusters they've got the cooling built in as well but we're going to get these. We're not. I thought for sure Sangria would. Tomislav, you got the order. You did. And you got the order to do that one. Matt is going to bed. Okay. All right. So that drops it back down to 88, 83. We're cooling back down again. Okay. So 72, 77, 83, 81. So you do get still some kind of a barrier with a doorway interesting it isn't the same temperature in both rooms it does take time to work its way through to the different rooms okay you guys in here <clears throat> 83 it's actually a little, a little bit too warm 70 is great 65 6 7 in the bedrooms that's pretty good yeah that's what they should be okay daytime so handy you needs you're just about there let's wake you up I want to get this episode turned off soon, and I want to send you, not haul, I want you to consume, send you off doing a bunch of things. Uh, Tomislav is hauling wood to a bed. You're on building mode. Good. Nobody's really doing any research right now, and that's unfortunate, but there's so much else to do. Research is kind of like cleaning. You know, it needs to be done, yeah, but so does building the greenhouse and building the gauntlet and starting mining out the base and it's just there's a never ending list of things that have got to get done but clothing wise I think we're fine except for that when we hit negatives at night well we're still negative 5 out there that cold snap is just not going to end it's been going for 2 days and 16 hours so far from the 5th of September and we are now there's a date here we're in the 8th of September still snowing I don't remember who gets the order to do the snow shoveling. I want to say it's the haulers. And that haulers gets me back to Matt. That's where I thought I was going when I got distracted. All right. You are a four for doctoring just so you can deliver a meal if I order you to. You're not... You're a four on wardening, so again, you can deliver a meal if I order you to. Handling, you're two of two. Cook, you're two of two. Those are all no's. Um, Hunt, you're capable of it, but I'm not going to have you randomly go and do that. Okay. Construct one of 20. Well, not going to happen. Can't grow, can't mine. Though mining is going to be one of the things you're going to do. You can't do dumb labor? Oh, man. Can't do dumb labor. Oh, that is so frustrating. So, I mean, whoever gets the character is going to be, you know overjoyed. I don't have to do any of the cleaning and hauling, but boy, I really wanted to. What's happening over here? We're making more babies. Okay, let's give them their privacy. Um, Matt, I really wanted you to go clean and haul everything. You've got a big passion for art. Otherwise, you can make blocks. And you can mine when we get to that point. So, I guess... Your biggie is block making. You're going to go at it pretty slow. And you can mine. So... Mm, I'll hold off on that. you get lots of practice in mining later. Actually, I did that wrong. Make you back to a one. There we go. Let's get you out there block cutting in the cold. Yeah, that's not going to go well, is it? Well, needs to be done. So, marble chunks are next. Because there are no... 
the other chunks around. And we need to get to this. So Handy is kind of where I was at. Handy is actually diving right into it. Good. So wind turbine is first. She's bringing four. <laughs> oh, she's going to grab four more. There were 50 there. You brought 24. There's four more. And then you're going to head up for the last few up there. And I'm going to trick you. And I'm... Stop moving. Where are you going? There you are. I'm going to have you haul 75 in. So come get a bunch of those, and I'll stop you just in time if I don't get disturbed as you walk past here and then tell you to go back to work. Okay. Otherwise, I chose limestone to put into all of the uh, stockpiles that I'm using as sandbags or using as a way to slow people down. Because... I think it has the least amount of strength of the three we have available to us. It's either that or marble was was the least, but marble is also something that could be used to make things with, with a beauty factor. Granite is the stuff you really really want to construct with if you can. So I'm using the granite for for all of the walls as much as I can get away with. We could use granite, you know, we could granite out here and marble in here. That's an idea. But I don't want to get distracted. Where did Handy go? And he's over there. Okay. That thing is still there after all this time? Expires in one day, eight hours. I thought the thing expired forever ago. Kathra is bringing in... You are... Actually, we can bring them all in now. Let's expand this. Zone and stockpile. Click that one. And let's move into here. And for that matter, um, I'll click away just in case it isn't that can actually this one accidentally deletes the entire zone let's get rid of this stockpile there and that there so the pathway is no longer a stockpile and we'll dump that all into here this needs to get hauled so there's one more granite block for somebody uh matt probably because i really want natalia to hopefully natalia jump into tailoring first good her crafting is her next one so we could make her research her next one then. She can't construct or do any of the other things, so she can get to researching. Tomislav is a researcher, but he can construct. So I really want him doing those sort of things. All right, Klaus is attempting to recruit Zoya, okay? And Handy, let's do... We'll get you to right about here. Yeah, right in there. Good. You stop there. Let's draft you, and you'll pick that up, and you'll go right to work. Perfect. Doing what? Oh, doing concrete. That takes steel, too. Wouldn't you know it. I really wanted you to do this one. Are you doing everything but? There's enough to do all of it. There he is. <laughs> let's, let's manually make this happen. You grab what's left. We wasted a lot of it there to fill up this guy. And a little more concrete if you can. We've got to take these trees down in here, too. You're going to do everything but, aren't you? You are. Oh, you had enough in there. Good. Okay. So, get a battery in there. In fact, let's do one more thing. Let's have you... That's not a handy. Let's have you work on this one, which means you go get, get another load of 75. Okay. All right, so you'll take care of those, and hopefully that'll all be constructed by the end of this game day. Otherwise, I wanted Kathra to... How are you doing cold-wise? Awful. There's nothing about really cold or hypothermia or anything like that going on. No. So you can just... Well, I'll let you get a little deeper in. Now if I tell you to go do something else, this should automatically drop it in the next available space. So you save a few steps that way. Kathra, can you come out and get these guys? These are the ones I'm mostly concerned about. 94%. Let's haul that deer. Sangria, what are you doing? You are taming a wild boar. Okay, see if we can get any of these in before the freeze takes them out. Rabbit, where are you? You are digging at granite. I'm going to let you. I am. Let's floor wood. Let's fill that in. Any other wooden floors out here that need to be touched up? No. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, you dig away at that and let's uh let's expand this and get more beds in here. 
Uh, furniture, bed. There you are. Turn that way. And we'll do that, and that, and that. Space already occupied by the fire. Okay. I'll fix that one later. Okay. And there's a few of the end tables that need to be dealt with. You, E, can go there, and there, and there, and over here, and eventually over there. That's all the beds that I have dropped in. You've got one, you've got one. Need a dresser in here too, but we'll wait for that to happen later. Did the dresser ever happen in here? It did not. Where would I do that? I could do something like right there. Oh, there's a distance issue. Oh. So that means one there and one over here. They only go so far. Okay. You guys are busy in there. Hopefully you'll do a little chatting too. Rabbit just really got an order to... It must be 1400. He's out of there. He's got a date with a chair. Mm-hmm. Um, Handy? Everyone's relaxing socially. All right, leave you alone. 55. I did fix the the kibble bill. I did change it back to the 101 it was recommending. That turned out to be right after I thought about it, logically. I make 50 at a time. So we're asking for 150, 75, and 75. So when we get down to one shy of missing a 50, it then triggers you to make another 50. So it, it was thinking it out for me properly. Matt, we are at 14, no, we are at 17 outside, so you should not have any cold issues. You don't, because you are good until 6 degrees with what you're wearing. That works out really well. And Kathra, you grab from there again. I guess I have to manually get you up here, because once that's done, you'll just be dealing with rocks and things. You won't uh, even go back to uh, hauling deer again. I do want to get those out of the weather. So let's do the same thing as we did before. Right there. And though you're probably hungry. No, you're not. Then let's manually say go haul this one and let's go haul that one. That rat is eating it. No, he's not. He just happened to be right there. Um, this one missing body parts 0%. So we'll tell you if something's been nibbling at, at your food out there. All right. Mm -hmm. A marriage is on. Handy has accepted Tomislav's marriage proposal. At some point in the coming days or season, they will have their marriage ceremony and invite all the colonists. Consider placing a marriage spot if you want to control where the ceremony occurs. Nice. Good job, Tomislav. But where are we going to put that marriage spot? There isn't a good spot in this place. Um, be great to have a place with chairs. Kind of like right in here. Unfortunately, I mean, if it was summertime, yeah, we're out here by the by the 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 river you know, with the trees and flowers and things like that could be kind of fun. But did we ever set it? Miscellaneous marriage spot. I don't recall. Oh, we did. It was, it was right there. If I were to put it, say, here, I have to cancel that one. I thought it would take the place of one or the other. So deconstruct that one, put it there, and let's just drop a few more um, furniture, flower pots right there in that zone, and yeah, that's kind of a... Hmm. Let's take this away. Let's take that away and this, build a copy, and put you right there. This one, go away. Let's put plants there, plants there, plants there, plants there. Kind of decorate this up a little bit. Um, we did not sell that. Wooden sculpture from Cathra. I thought I had sold that. We didn't. But it's a negative beauty. I don't know if I want to haul that in here, too. And and we'll, we'll make just a, a, a makeshift uh, <laughs> um, reception haul. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I think with that happy news, I think we're going to call this one done. Yep. This has been Noble Rambler. I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.